What's up, everyone? We are over here at Alex's house with his beautiful Z06. It's pretty slow, though. I wouldn't say that. Yeah, no, no. The fastest car I've ridden, actually. Anyways, so as you know, Jeep, I got them to include this headliner, right? So my Gladiator did not come with headliner in here. Show them the headliner. Um, it's a little bit loud. It's a little bit loud, nothing unbearable. But today we got the headliner. So it's right over here, actually. So we got this from Jeep. Um, like a $600 part, I was able to get them to include it when I bought this bad boy. So we'll go ahead and install that today. We're gonna experiment a little bit with um, diamond, right? So there's little ridges on the, actually let's show them. He's gonna pop it off. There's, there's little ridges. Hopefully it doesn't rain on us. I'll just pop it off. Um, super easy to remove this. We'll come in here with the table. It looks like these headliners, this headliner, it's not gonna fill the gaps. So I had an idea. Um, you can take into consideration like, yeah, it's gonna be a lot of weight if we like soundproof and wrap this whole thing, but we're just gonna test out a little piece of uh, Dynamat soundproofing material um, to see if we can get a little bit more sound out of the... Uh, Those shoes are ugly. <laughs> we can get a little sound out of the um, system and it'll be a little bit quieter while we are driving as well. So there are these little crevices um, that I don't think, I don't think the, the headliner is going to fill these crevices. So we'll go ahead and try, you know, just experiment a little bit. We'll use some acetone to clean this so there's no dirt. And uh, I'm not gonna scuff it, I'm not gonna do that. In some of the videos, people were recommending like scuffing it up, I'm not gonna do that. 3M is gonna stick to it, no problem. We'll just clean it up a little bit and put it on. So it should make a little bit of difference. Uh, this is more of an experiment than anything. If it works, I'll spend the $150 on extra Dynamat. If not, I'm not too worried about it. But we got Alex here, we got his beautiful vet. We got Sean over here, say hi. And uh, yeah, let's, let's go ahead and open this up and let's just get, get it started. How to DIY do your headliner install, easy. Unboxing, what do we got? I already took it out of the box because the box was in the trunk. Uh, I mean the uh, bed of the truck, of the Jeep. And uh, it was getting wet, it was raining earlier, so. Let's see what we got here. Let's start with these little guys right here. Looks like, it looks like it's a little bit of padding. It's not much. I think the aftermarket ones actually, they're thicker and they use like a, some sort of like military insulation padding. There's not much padding but we'll see. Dang, dude, this costs 550 bucks for this set of stuff from Mopar originally. This better make a good difference. I wonder what's in here. <laughs> Alex says don't hold your breath. But the aftermarket ones are thicker. I kind of like the idea of the thicker one. It reminds me of the military vehicles. In the military vehicles, like the Humvees and shit, when you're, uh, when you're going deployed, they have like this thick, like super thick on padding. Yeah, on the roof, on the walls, on the doors. The walls, the doors, yeah. Um, yeah. I don't know, we'll see. Damn, that's an expensive part, Mopar. Let's see what we got. I think this is gonna go right there. Yeah, that's it. Little wow, it fits right in place. Super cool. It's not gonna make a huge difference. It's not gonna make any difference. We'll see. So let's go over this, check it out. So, the Gladiators are different than the JL, so they're gonna give us a piece for, one piece for the back here one piece for the back right here, two pieces for the the tops on the front, and then it looks like... One big one for the back. One big one, yep, right there, one big one for the back. So there's quite a bit of pieces, actually. That's nice. It gives us some instructions, if you need them. Oh, this is another piece, too. Wow. There's a lot of little pieces, that's pretty cool. There's one, there's two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven pieces. It's a easier to take the whole top off to do it. Honestly, we could. It might be easier that way. What do you think? Should we do it? I think we should take the whole top off. I don't know if we'll take the back off. We don't need to take it off. All right, anyways, let's clean this up and try this one. Okay, so 
Ideally, you'd be using alcohol for this, but right now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna clean these surfaces because the cleaner the surface, um, the better that this uh, dynamat is gonna stick to it. So, well, you can use alcohol, you can use a uh, lacquer thinner. Right now, what we're gonna do is just spray a little bit brake parts cleaner on there. Um, it'll do the same thing, kind of our uh, ghetto way to do it. But hey, every, everybody, you know, in the DIY field doesn't always have the same tools. So what we did with this is we put this in the oven actually to let it heat up a little bit. And you know, it's not super thick. I don't know if I expect it to make a huge difference, but what we'll do is is we'll, um, we'll probably cut out just some small pieces, one, two, three um, on this one, three on the other one, and then the extra, you know, that we have, we'll probably put in the back um, back of the Jeep. Um, we'll see what happens. And uh, yeah, right now we're just gonna go ahead and clean it off and um, cut those cut those things. Onto the towel. Yeah. Should be clean. All right. So first things first. Yeah, the entire exactly. section. So I want to cover these inserts because the yeah. look the tape yeah. goes on here. So I can't put it on here. What I'll do is put it down there and just screw it out. I'll do like one, two, three on this one, three on the other one. It's not gonna make a huge difference, but yeah, it's not. really I something's mean, gonna be better than nothing. You're not gonna notice that tape sticking up if you run a big piece across it and cover this whole section. Oh, I see what you're saying. those corners off. So we'll do the whole thing. Heck yeah. Is that pretty good? Yeah, that's All great right. actually. Now, peel, peel that back off and set it. I'll show you peel it back off slowly. And take it like this. Hold it. Set it, taco it up so it'll still lay in the middle, right? Is it gonna be where you want it? Okay, and then set it in here first. And then just kind of work it down. Sweet. Yeah, here you go. Yeah. Should you peel off the shiny stuff or does the shiny stuff stay? No, the shiny stuff stays. That's just an aluminum foil. It just gives that butyl rubber some strength. GoPro's about to die. All right. Two percent. No. All right. We'll see you in a few. <laughs> Update. We're gonna do this the right way instead of Austin's way. Instead of Austin's way. So we used the full piece for this. This is the way it looks. Um, I'll show you exactly what we did on the other one, but we used a full piece of the dyno mat on here and then we put the panel on the actual dynamat. So we'll do this the right way. We have a source, um, one of Alex's friends has a bunch of extra dyno mat that uh, he's not using right now. He will use it, uh, but he's going to give it to us um, to use and he'll be able to buy his here pretty soon. And uh, anyways, yeah, we'll head over there and oh, head over there and do this the right way. And we are back. Beautiful new dino mat. We're gonna go ahead and finish Drop Sean off. I had to get some food in my belly. I was feeling a little loopy. Just ask Sean how I get when I get hungry. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll do, uh, we'll do the whole thing. We'll do it the right way. I'm excited that it worked out. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting Alex to have any more dino mat or for anybody else to around here. I couldn't find any online. Um, but I'm glad it worked out. I love when this stuff happens. So yeah, we'll get this all finished up. And uh, one by one, you'll see how we do it. And just like last time, you have our brake parts cleaner. You can use alcohol. Um, anything that's really just going to get that surface clean. That's what, that's what matters. New rag. Brake parts cleaner. Brake parts cleaner goes <laughs> on the rag. And we're just going to go ahead and wipe these things off.
Just don't let it sit there, but it should dry. It's brake parts cleaner. We're just using it temporarily. It's not gonna affect anything. Acetone would be worse. It just has, it has a different smell. Uh, from here, grab all our pads. Uh, take a nice little measurement. We will do probably one this way, cut it, do the last one here. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. There's our first piece, cut the edges. We'll clean this other stuff up right here. And we have enough, I think. Yep, we should have enough to go ahead and, for the most part, and, uh, patch in and do the, this side too. So we'll go ahead and cut this up now and fit all everything in there. Trim that piece. So I actually made kind of like a new mistake. I cut this out and I had formed it to this shape, but I did it so upside down. So now it doesn't work. What we're gonna have to do is just come in here with these little scraps right here and we'll just patch it up because it's not gonna affect anything, you know, having little gaps right here. We don't wanna waste this material. It's not super cheap, but we'll go ahead and do that now. I think it's worth noting that if you are using this stuff, number one, it's super sticky. Number two, you're gonna have to clean some stuff up. But number three, this surface isn't gonna be necessarily clean. So the same process we did to clean um, the underside of this so that the tape adheres and this stuff adheres to it, we need to do the same thing um, on this as well. So what I'm saying is, a little bit of brake parts cleaner. That's good. And then we give it a nice wipe. And then from there, we should be able to go ahead and we'll peel this. So this this is Velcro. It's Velcro. There's a safety uh, strap right there, so it doesn't. I don't know what. That's, I don't even. I'm even gonna try to explain. Anyways, you peel this, peel this side, and then you stick it literally where you want. They're pretty much lined up from the factory. Although you should make sure they are um, lined up. What I mean by that is these two, this one, and this one should be lined up um, so that they mate most effectively and peel these bad boys. After we peel them, go ahead and stick this puppy in there. It's pretty much form fitting, so you can kind of just let it do its thing. And there we are. I'm gonna go ahead and use this tool since we have it to go ahead and push down on where the tape adhesive stuff is it's not going to damage the headliner because it's rubber and this is, this is a sweet tool should be good to go so you do have to after this go ahead and um pull wow it's stuck on there oh you got to pull this out and then pull these strips of tape off do that and it should lay down um, pretty nicely in there. Should just mate right up to it. And now, and now, I try to pull it up. It ain't coming off. So let's go install this. So if you remember, there is a little bit of lip to get this on. I can show you probably from up top. Um, ooh, this one goes under this one slightly. So we have to make sure that we do that otherwise it's not going to drop in in this pin so we'll push it under a little bit should be good let's see sometimes they like to do this so drop that drop that do that what are we missing here there we go there's number two lock 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 the old ones lock 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 and we're
we're good. We got two solid. Let's see. Two solid head panels. Yay. Should quiet this thing down a little bit. Um, it's not super heavy. The, the, the material we're using is, is kind of heavy, but I'm not super concerned about it adding too much weight to the car. I think what we'll do next is um, we'll do the, the sides right here, back there, and then we have to take, take care of this. We might take the top off, who knows, we'll see. So actually to avoid a mess, uh, what I think we're gonna go ahead and do is take the top off. So I'm going to bring everything down. There's gonna be about one, two, three, about six bolts that you need to take off. And then the, uh, you probably have to loosen those ones. I've actually never taken the top off of the Jeep, but it's not, I would assume it's not super hard. So we'll take those six bolts off. We'll take the uh, top off since there's two of us. Um, and I think it just be a little bit easier for our application. It'll keep things a little bit cleaner. Um, that stuff really makes a mess if you, if you do it wrong. So we wanna do it the right way. And uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and get this top off um, and go from there. So it actually seems like it's gonna be quite a bit easier um, with the tops removed. So we went ahead and removed the tops to the Jeep. And there was those six bolts, plus there's another two. Um, one right there, and then one on the opposite side as well. So we'll go ahead and get those undone. I kind of need both hands, but I'm trying to record this at the same time. The only other thing you have to worry about is how to get this off. I'll walk you through that um, here in a minute too, because there is some wiring that, uh, you know you don't want to come off with the uh, top as well so we'll go ahead and do that and we should be good to go here pretty soon bolt goes out Woo! we're in business baby we are in business Just gotta figure out how to get that other connector out and we are good to go be sure that's you Put your bolts where your bolts are supposed to go. We got one, two, th two, four, six, eight. We got eight bolts. You should walk out of this with eight bolts. Uninstall with eight, uh, eight bolts and install with eight bolts. Uh, so yeah, next up, just gotta get to figure out how to get this stinking wire out. I think this actually moves. So I was actually being really gentle with it. All you have to do, just like the arrows indicate, man, Jeep, Jeep makes this really nice. There's arrows right there. You just have to pull it this way. Pull it that way, lift it out. It's gonna take a little bit of force. After that, disconnect this connector. Um, ooh. You gotta push down right there on it. And pull, and pull. Ooh, it's a smart clip, look at that. You have to pull the red piece back and then you can push down on the black piece in the middle right there. And then you can pull it out, pops out. Now we'll take two people to uh, lift this bad boy out and we're good to go. Now, I may be able to lift this thing all by myself. Quite possible, I think I could, but I don't think I'm going to. So I'll go get Alex so that he can help me. I'll take one side, he'll take the other side. Literally just lift, bring it back come around the car and then we'll put it on a sheet over here so it doesn't get damaged, scratched, or whatnot. I got a naked Jeep, look at that. Wouldn't you know, it's naked. Oh my goodness, looks so funny. This is gonna be so much easier. So much easier. No better way to do it than to there is one big piece, small swim, and then two and two. Those two go here and there. Big one obviously goes there. Um, that skinny one goes up next to the window. Oh wow, the skinny one goes next to the window. You're talking about these ones, yeah. I think. These go no, up other side. Yeah, there you go. Oh, clean. Oh yeah, that's very clean. Looks, Looks good. 
B? Is that B? Yeah. Yeah, yeah see where the strips go? Yeah. Just on the top of the bridge. It's just weird because it's... Um, Is that going to sit good. flat in there? No. It's not. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> nice smoke part. Nice. Like Grab it. And mark it. Really? So you can see the dotted line? Yep. So this is exactly where it's supposed to go. Uh, I guess that's probably why they don't make it go all the way up under there. Because it's covered yep. by the speaker tower. So we'll dynamo it under that. Maybe, maybe mark it out. I think we can get fit one, two sheets pretty easily. You could probably put four sheets probably there. Probably four. Heck yeah, let's put four sheets there. Do it. Well, we did it. Unfortunately, the uh, SD card filled up on the GoPro, but good thing is uh, you know how to uninstall it and installation is the exact opposite. So now we have, wow, it's quite different, quite um, dark in here. We got the sides, the side pads. Um, up top, there's the pads, uh, drivers and passenger side. Um, it's actually, we'll go ahead and take it on a test drive, but it's notice it'll be quiet in here actually so i'm excited about that pads worked out good there's dyno mat between um behind every pretty much every pad and i feel like i can hear the difference so let's go test it out see if we can actually uh see a difference so um this should help with the thermodynamics um, of that hard top it retains i've watched a lot of videos actually it retains a, a lot of heat so um there was if you noticed that um kind of foil layer in between the um, dynamat and the um, sticky side so between that and the headliner it should be able to be really um, cool in here in the summer it will keep the temperature low it won't let it um, increase too much and i'm really happy with it overall let's go test it out consensus says that it worked and it's noticeable the sound detonating has definitely improved the rhino the rhino <laughs> the dynamat works good it's noticeable so again what we did was the mopar headliner with um dynamat behind it that dynamat has that extra layer 
um, that uh, extra layer of protection in regards to that foil layer it has on it, which is gonna help um, keep heat from in here as well. So overall, super excited. Glad we did it, glad we didn't ghetto do it. I'm glad it worked out. So hope that helps you guys. Till next time.